In order to start summarizing your data, you'll take the information from your data sheet, highlight it, and then select insert where you'll click on pivot table and the pivot table will automatically select the range. You can double check the bot by looking at the column numbers and the row numbers. And I want my pivot table to appear on the same sheet, pretty much just right next to my data. And then I'm going to click OK. So to create a pivot table with the summary information for graphing, over on the right here are all of the different column headings. So I want all of this information available to me so that I can graph it. And you can see it appears down below here. However, this is not the information that I'm looking for, so I do need to make some modifications. First of all, I want to move this behavior from rows back into my values column. And then I want my rows to be represented by the different sexes, the female and the male. Right now, the data that are showing are summations of all of the behaviors, but I want averages in order to graph them. So I'll click on this I for information, and I'm going to click on average, OK. And you can see up here that it's changed the label to average of behavior one. And I'm going to do that for each of the other behaviors. In addition to having averages, I also want to be able to graph the standard deviations. So in order to do that, I have to create new columns. So I'm going to drag each of the behaviors that I want to calculate standard deviations for down into this values field. And then I'm going to change the sum, since it's summing it again, which I don't want. I'm going to click on that I again, and then I'm going to click on standard deviation. And you can see the standard deviation appears there. So I'll do that for each of the other behaviors. STD, DEV is the standard deviation. Great, so now I have all the information that I want in order to create a bar graph to represent my data. So I'm going to copy, this is all within the pivot table right now, so I want to copy the actual data that I want to put into a graph. So I'm going to just select the appropriate information and I'm going to copy and then just paste it right below. So now I'm outside of the pivot table. I'm going to make a bar graph showing error bars with the data that we just selected. So I'm going to select the information including the column headings that I want to graph and then I'm going to go over here to insert and I'm going to select the appropriate bar graph and Excel automatically puts everything on the bar graph for me conveniently. Two different colors for the two different sexes. Gonna, if you notice, the labels for the different behaviors, though, are not very useful. So I'm going to just rename each of these column headings so that they represent the actual behaviors. And for yours, you probably will have the behaviors, but it'll say average, so just rename them. I also need to put an axis label, so I'm going to go over to the Chart Design tab, Add Chart Element, and then click on Axis Titles. And I need a vertical axis title, so my y-axis title, and you can see a box appears. So I'm just going to rename this as um, Behavior Rates, let's see. Yeah, rate of behavior per five minutes, since my intervals, let's say, were five minutes. OK, so now I'm going to change a couple of other things. I'm going to move this legend up to the top, and I'll deal with that a little later. And then I can also add a chart title by clicking on the chart title and then renaming it, or if it's a um, paper, then going into the paper, then I would just completely delete it. So now I want to add those standard deviation error bars. So I click on one of the bars, go up here to the add chart element, click on that, select error bars, and then the very bottom, more error bars options. 
and it'll bring up this pane over here. I want to select, select custom and I'm going to specify the values for the error bars. This is an important part. So the values are going to be the values that I had the pivot table create. So I'm going to now select for the appropriate color, blues female, so that's this row here, and I'll highlight for the female my behaviors one, two, and three, and that indicates where those error bars will be. The negative error bars will be the exact same thing. So I just highlight again for the females those standard deviation values, and then I can click OK, and you'll see that the error bars have been added. The error bars, I can change the formatting of them. So for example, I want to make them perhaps a little um, heavier so that they're more visible. So I'll click on the error bar, come over here, and I can click on this paint can, and you can change the width of the lines for the error bars. So I'll go ahead and increase, nope, that, that one, yep, over here, increase this to 1.75. Five. Actually, that's a bit much. Three points a little much. So yeah, let's go back down to about one point seven five. Okay, that looks about right. I also want to clean it up a little bit. So I'm going to just show the positive end of the error bar. So if you look up here, click on the error bar, and I can just click the plus, and it's just going to show me the error bar above the um. The bar and this is really helpful especially if your error bar extends beyond the axis okay you can also change the color of the bars by selecting um, up over on this ribbon the top ribbon there's a uh, change colors so if you click on that there's different colors that you can select and if you choose one you can see that it actually changes the bar colors. For presentation purposes the type, the font size is pretty small so I'm going to increase those by, cl by clicking on the axis, going up to the home ribbon, and changing the font size to 14 let's say much better and that'll be better for a presentation and I can do that for the x-axis as well click on the axis go up and change the font size there okay all right um, going back I do need to add the error bars to my mail values here so again I click on the bar itself go up to the chart design and then over here, add chart element, select the error bars, and then all the way down at the bottom, more error bars options. And we'll click on over here in the pane, the very last option, which is custom. And I'll click on specify values so that I can select those values that we had, cal that we had the pivot table calculate out. So I'll select the three values for the three bars the positive values, and then I'll also select those same values for the negative values. And I'll click OK. OK, so again I'm going to go through and make those formatting changes that I did before. I'm going to select just the plus so I have the upper bar. I'm going to go over to the paint can and I'm going to change the weight of or the width of the bar. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that overall. Okay, one of the things that I did forget to do was to change the font size for the Y axis label. So I'll go ahead and do that by going back to the home ribbon and changing the font size to 14. And then from here, I can just copy and paste my, um, my graph into my research paper, or I can copy and paste it into my yeah, presentation.